Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. And I'm making an unusual video today. I am comparing sciatica, or at least I am using that condition, to explain Bible prophecy, believe it or not. And this idea occurred to me because I got a terrible case of sciatica two days ago, starting Wednesday morning, and it got worse during the day, all up and down my back of my left leg, and I felt really ill. And I said Wednesday night when I went to bed, I said, if I don't feel better in the morning, I'm going to call up my VA doctor. Well, as it turns out, rest is not good for sciatica, and I did feel much worse in the morning. So I called my VA doctor, and I explained to the nurse my symptoms, and that was that I had pain all up and down my left leg, especially behind my left knee. There was a throbbing there. And she thought it sounded like DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis. And I said, well, I better come right in. And she says, no, we don't have the facilities to test for that. We do not have an ultrasound machine. She said, you need to go to the emergency room right away because deep vein thrombosis can be very serious. So I took her advice. I went down to the St. Elizabeth emergency room in Utica and they did perform an ultrasound and it came back negative. I did not have DVT, which was a relief, but it did not relieve my pain. I left the emergency room feeling as bad, if not worse, than before. And the only advice the doctor gave me was to take either Tylenol or Ibuprofen or something like that, and I never take that junk. Just look up the internet and see what the side effects of those things are. In any case, I went home and I was suffering a great deal. And I lay down and I, for about an hour to rest, and that did not help one bit. And I said, Blessed Mother, you said at Bayside that rest cures all. Well, I found out there's an exception to that. And the Lord said, check out YouTube. Well, I didn't actually hear that, but I knew it was an inspiration from the Lord. And I did, I checked out videos on YouTube. And sure enough, you type in sciatica, there are dozens of videos on YouTube. And they're all helpful, but many of them do not give really good advice. The main advice they give is correct. Rest is bad for sciatica. You must exercise instead, just the opposite of what I always figured. And some of the exercises they gave did not help me a bit. I tried just about everything. They said, put a tennis ball under your leg, and I tried that. And they said, put a... Uh, roll of some kind under your back, and I tried that. And I realized what was happening, though. Stretching your muscle is what ultimately relieves the pain. In other words, you stretch until you feel the pain. Uh, when you feel the pain, do it again. That's my new slogan. For example, leaning back. In fact, even right now, I can feel a pain right down my back leg and up to my buttocks. So you lean forward, rest a little bit, and then you lean back, maybe I'll show you sideways, you lean back, and you, until you feel the pain, there's the pain, and I move forward again, rest a little bit, move back until I feel that pain, and that's how the pain goes away. And there's other, other uh, exercises you can do, for example, you can use a squatting exercise until you feel that pain, in this case, in my left leg, and then you rest a little, then you stretch again, well, by the end of yesterday, after stretching all day long, I felt much, much better. And today, my pain is almost always gone, almost go all gone. I use this just for stability in case it comes back again. I had to walk with my cane completely yesterday. Now, where does Bible prophecy come in? Well, it comes in because the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But there's one exception. The Blessed Virgin Mary never sinned. And that's the rule I learned from sciatica. 
Rest does not cure sciatica. Exercise does. And in the Bible, Mary says, God, my Savior. She does not say, Jesus, my Savior. God as a trinity saves Mary, but not from sin. If you read the next paragraph, God saves Mary from obscurity. That's be and that's because all generations will call Mary blessed. And this is a very important lesson. There is an exception that proves the rule. Now I'm going to give you another rule for end times Bible prophecy. Scripture says that it is appointed once for man to die. But there is an exception to that rule. Lazarus died twice. But the rule does apply to the two prophets, Enoch and Elijah. They are the only two individuals in all of Scripture who never died. They were taken to heaven, or we presume heaven. They were taken to a safe place, and they return in these end times as the two witnesses in order to die, in order to fulfill the prophecy or the rule that it is appointed once for man to die. So all of yesterday and the day before, all of my suffering about with sciatica served a purpose after all. As the Bible says, God can turn evil to good. And remember, I'm not a doctor. I am not giving you medical advice just in case some lawyer watches this video. I am not telling you to do it. I'm telling you to try it. And in conclusion, thanks for watching this video.